well well good morning to some good evening to others good day to all today Haywood CPA live stream me at another remote location I don't need to see my exercise equipment you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know that can affect once again mm -hmm. live and direct yeah live and direct to the masters you know what I'm saying? We we in the building. We in the building. So another episode. Yo, is this like this the first joint we doing this year, isn't it? I think it is. <laughs> it's yeah. This is the first joint, you know. So this is actually our happy new year episode. Yeah, we did a lot of planning for it too. A lot of pre-planning. In great people, ain't it? That great, great you know what I'm saying? Production. Yeah, all pre production, you know what I'm saying? Everything's production. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, yo, you had, yo, your, 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 your mic is getting a little snap, crackly, and popping there. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, I don't know. know how to fix that. I don't know, but let's see. How's that sound? It sounds like it's distorting or something. I don't know. What are you waiting for that? You on the ground or something? How's that? A little bit better. Un poco. I don't know. It might take uh, a bigger. I think it might be this. How's that? Mm, about the same. But we ain't gonna. I mean, I can understand you. Yeah. We gotta check the settings on you. How's that? Yeah, try now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. But we're gonna work on it. We'll go back to the tape and show you what's going on. But it will not stop us from having an exhilarating episode. So, so man, what's been up? You know, man, a long time. Life, you know, taxes, Don't not know all the fact. Mm-hmm. A right? mm -hmm. yeah. whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. Um, you know, a lot of businesses are trying to, you know, formulate. So it's, it's a heavy business plan season, forecast season. Yep. Wow. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I did something exciting though this morning, right? Oh, what's that? I've been working up to it. I've been doing it a little head, a little head. But, you know, I woke up this morning a little just groggy. Mm hmm So I'm like, all right, I got to get ready for the people. I can't come on here with a slouchy head. No doubt. So it took me, I'm up to one minute, cold shower after the hot shower. Yeah, that's a lot, yo. Let me tell you something. If you look into my eyes, you can probably see the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one minute cold shower. I worked up to that. It started at 10 seconds, 20 seconds. I'm seconds. sure it did. And I don't like it. I don't like doing it, but the the, the effects or the results are just like amazing. So what's the um what's it do for you? Um helps the circulation. Okay. Really helps circulation in the body. Um helps the blood flow to the brain. What people don't realize is it's a new, you know, I'm always thinking about certain things, neuro neurological things in a sense. Mm-hmm. Um, when we drink coffee, caffeine slows blood 
blood flow to the brain by you know, absolutely up to forty percent. I can see that. Right, so that affects your lymphatic system, so it slows you down, messing with your brain. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. But so the cold, the cold will offset that. Cold, cold will offset that. I mean, literally, I feel like I probably have a week of sleep. I that I, I was able to get a full week of sleep. Okay. Now you know it'll go down. I, I think for the day when I do it for the day, I'm usually good. You know, because um, I don't take it every single day. No, sir. no you, uh, you bugged out. It gets you, know. you. It gets you ready. Mm. Well, noted. I, I haven't right. done that yet. Telling you, gets you right. Even if you go in there, you know, five seconds, ten seconds to start full body, but going with the water coming to your face in this area. Let that oh. happen. It's come down. It's getting... like cooling you off. It's like cooling you off. Like no, it's not cooling you off. It's increasing your breath, right? Because you're like. It's cold, and so you, what happens? You start breathing. Your breathing intensifies. So what it does is it allows you to technically what they say is it allows you to uh, control, you know, control the uh, your breathing, the intensity of, of anxiety and pressure, and so on and so forth. So because you're focused on your breath and, and not really paying attention to the coldness of the water throughout your day, it allows you to function. So when you met with challenges and things of that nature, it, it's an automatic exercise. Plus, you're already vibrant enough to 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 um, to work through it. Mm. Well, I'll take your word for it right now. <laughs> that's all, that's I'm, it. Just, I'm just, you know, that's just, you know, I didn't get into the scientific aspect of it, and you know, all of those other things. Because you see people taking ice baths and. You know, people show you the yeah. what and the why, but they don't really tell you, you know, or they'll show you the what and the how sometimes without the why or the what and the why without the how. I mean, it's other things. But they don't really explain it, you know, unless you're going to do your homework and really understand how it affects you. Yeah, well, definitely. Without a doubt. So, I mean, no, nah, I mean, I, 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 I see the, the logic behind it, though. I see that. I know for me, it probably, I'll be like, man, I just need to cool off. Like, it's like, man, I'm always on fire. Seems like I'm always like, man, I, I need to, you know, so, but. And I, and I do it a little bit more now that I, I have some, some, some other information. Oh, I don't like cold showers, man. I don't like, the only thing I, I like cold is probably the pool or the ocean. Yeah, if it's hot outside. Yeah. But you know, sometimes it's not. You know, it's just it could be a little too cold. You know, depends, yeah. right? But um, yeah, it's all relative, right? So, so you know, this 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 next thing leads right into, you know, all what we always talking about business and what's what's behind the curtain of business, right? Mm. You know, I'm not sure if you heard of it, but it, it's called the what's that? Wait for it. Oh, you got something coming on the screen. No. I'm gonna put it on the screen though. This guy got to get my own. Uh, you got props. It's called the anterior mid cingulate cortex. Yeah, you guys explain that. It's in the brain. Mm -hmm. Anterior mid cingulate cortex. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead to break that down. The okay, people so, ain't ready for all that. So it's a part. So this is, and it's really crazy, right? So it's a part of the brain that increases. Now it increases in in, in, in doctors. It increases in athletes. It increases in um, um, first responders. Mm -hmm. Right. It increases in. Um, any anything that 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 causes you and and, and super professional people like that really, you know, it it causes your this part of the brain to grow, which has a direct correlation with your willpower, right? So basically, what it does is under doing the things that you don't want to do, that you hate to do, 
increase this part of the brain grows, which is a part of developing the willpower. But wait a minute. So it grows. It's the part of the brain that grows when you do th you, you do things you don't want to do. Correct. And it okay. has to stay under intense in, intense has to stay intensified or it'll grow and it'll shrink. It'll grow and shrink. You got to constantly grow. Yeah, you got to keep constantly. You got to stay. It's under like under. a mu it's the muscle. It's the Basically, muscle. It, but it's it's responsible <laughs> for your willpower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Got me all choked up. No, nah, my bad. You know, no, it's, it's heavy stuff, man. It's crazy. So, so, and it only works with things that you, if you, if you like doing something, it's not going to grow. It's actually going to shrink. Mm. So it's mm. it's definitely correlated with what you do not like to do. I can dig that. I can totally you know dig saying? that. I was like, what? And so I, you know, I saw, I saw, I did some homework, but I saw an episode on, uh, on YouTube talking about it. I don't know if I should say his name or not, um, you know, but um, it was very, very, uh, very, very enlightening, and it makes all the sense of the world. Yeah, it makes all the sense of the world, because they, you know, the thing is, do the thing that you don't like to do. It. You got to do it anyway. Just go and do it. And you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Push through it, right? It's like. Uh, but real, not realizing that there's a benefit, the friction that's called that it causes because we hate doing it actually makes us better at what we what we're trying to achieve. That single thing in the mind, in the brain. Mm -hmm. So I see where we headed this morning. This is off the chain right now. I, you know, I had to pull that one on topic. Yo, man, I I think it was the cold shower working. <laughs> and I'm here just no, I'm here like yo, it's what's good. Hello, everybody. Hey, you know, you start dealing with the cortex mix medium maximum mid sing the anterior mid cingulate cortex. Look it up, yeah. check it out. I'm telling you, you know, this is the year of leveling up, you know, like you know, so how how we gonna look how we gonna understand how to level up? Now it's not just Increasing the work, it ain't the hard, it ain't the hard work. It's the it's the methodical work, it's the smart work, but we got we understand the what, the why, then we know how to go about it. And that's just I just want to increase my understanding of things. Because you know, we're human beings at the end of the day. Why do we tick? Why do we do certain things? Why do certain things affect us? Affect us, affect us, whatever, right? Um yeah. and so just run and you know everything. Information comes to you at the proper time. Now, what you do with it, that's a whole different thing. I just saw that it was beneficial to, you know, that I ran across that type of information. And it, and I'm like, wow. Yeah, because well, I mean, it makes sense. I, it was something else. You know, all these things always correlate, like another book or something, you know, you read and similar themes come out. So when you mention the thing about doing something you don't, you don't like doing, it, it's some other book, you know, all these book summaries and all that that I'm reading. There was another place that 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 concept was put there. That you know, like which which you kind of think about it in um, layman's terms. I mean, if you you're doing the stuff that you like constantly, I mean, you, you're not really growing. I mean, you're just doing the same thing over and over. I mean, at a certain point, you know, at a certain point, you just get good at doing whatever you've been doing so you're not doing nothing else so but it's the things you don't like uh it's where you win you know that's where you win you start getting into you know if you don't like writing write if you don't like reading read but well anyway I, I'm, I'm gonna leave that comment alone if you don't you know if you don't like getting out of bed early in the morning the more you can train yourself to do that, it actually becomes something. I guess it goes from something you might dislike to something neutral to possibly something you like. So then you can that's stored. So now you could you know you could go after something else that you don't necessarily enjoy. Um correct. correct. I I'll link that to you know our our topic of, of the day and what we talk about is business. And 
it's a mistake to believe that when you own your own business, all you do is do the stuff you like. Like that's that's a total mistake to believe that. Like, you know, a good portion, especially in your early stages, when you're starting, you may not have help, you may not have staff, you're gonna do a lot of things that you don't particularly care for. Um, I mean, it's just how it goes. I mean, there's no way around it. I, I mean, you know, uh, the recurring theme for me is the lack. There's no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts in, in anything. I mean, business is no shortcuts. So you're going to do things you don't like. So, you know, with, 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 with what we're saying here is that, man, some people have the intuition to take something they don't like and find a way. You know, they look at that as a challenge. Yeah. Say, how could I get this done with the least amount of effort? Right. And then some people will sludge do it. Some people won't do it. Right. It makes a difference between success and uh, limited success, great success, no success. Doing these little things, these little things. Mm -hmm. And our business that we're here on is one of those things that people don't like. They don't like it. That's right. So I'm, I'm here, I'm making my first bar because this is the year of, this is the year of leveling up, year two of leveling up, level up year two. And what's happening here, we, we get our first good morning, a little late. Good, good morning. morning to you. Good morning to you as Top well. Top of the morning. Top of the morning, Nate. <laughs> so, but level up year two because we didn't announce it since we didn't change it because we you know level up part two i, I think level up is going to be like a three-year thing so but leveling up means really doing stuff that man I, the details i'm trying to tell you the details of what you're doing once you take that next step and you start paying attention to the details and you start getting locked into details and you start executing on details that's where success starts happening at least you cut the uh you cut all the foliage to find the path to success through work through um waiting through the details and one of the details i found is that the majority of our clients don't want what we do they don't like what you know it's just not it's not a pleasure center for them right but you gotta do it you gotta pay attention to your stuff. You gotta manage it. You know, it's, and, 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 it's, and numbers are the scorecard. I will say it over and over again. The financial records are the scorecard. So the way you take care of it tells me a bit about your business. Just off top. Your approach to it, I already know where you are. I already know how, how you feel. Doesn't mean you can't get somewhere else, but it, it I take a lot of information. I say, oh, this person doesn't care, you know. But then you can't come to me and start talking about this big initiative you want to do two days, you know, a week later. You got a wild hair, and I'm like, you're not taking. I mean, yeah, I hear you. That's the dopamine. That's the dope. The, the new opportunities are dopamine. It's always that's always exciting. Yo, I'm gonna start this new. I'm going to start this new thing. Boom! I'm on fire. Yo, it's off, off the. You know, I'm ready, ready to go till day two. Like I always say in working out, when you start working out, the hardest workout is the second one. The first one you gassed up. The second one you saw, and you still got to go back. <laughs> that is always the hardest when you go back. To that. True. Yo, you True. gotta be like boom. So for the uh middle medugula, whatever you said, I think and that's area what mid singulate cortex. Can we get an acronym for this, man? Like, <laughs> the uh, middle call of the it brain. The, call it the call it the AMCC. AMCC. I could work with that. Okay, cool. The AMCC. I think many of us get. 
we struggle with the AMCC because we got a world where it's real easy to not do something but still move forward. It's real easy to avoid hard stuff and still presumably move forward nowadays. You know, but that that stuff, yo, know, yo, you hit. See, you always good at this stuff. Man, you get me going, man. I was well, killing. You no, know, but you know, listen, we have to, we have to, we got to keep spreading the word. Right? Yeah, we have to keep because you know, not and it's not that there's not a lot. It's not that people don't really. There's there's quite a few people that don't really care. But you, the, the circumstances, right? You know, here's the other thing: is like circumstances. You know, we can't lean on circumstances. Right, circumstances happen, right? But then we gotta recognize when it's there's two parts to this. There's a situation, circumstances can turn to a situation or a problem. If it's a situation, it you resolve it. Then if it turns into a problem, that's a harder resolve, right? So we just here bringing some some we talk about these things because we go through these things and we develop ourselves through these things so we can share it with people and give them not just the tabletop surface of information but the underneath so it, it it'll be um be old if you take the approach to continuously study oh my god and understand mm -hmm. you know and then and then it's the, the the application implementation aspect right you know that i heard this the saying and it's very very profound Now, this could be a perception thing or a perspective thing. It's a perspective thing, but again, some people are limited in their uh, longevity and thinking to walk around and to create the perspective, right? So it gets caught in the perception. Mm hmm. You ready for it? I think they are. You got to work at the level of your dreams and not at the level of the team. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's hardcore. So, so what does that even mean? From my my opinion, is yeah, leveling up. So you don't you don't you don't put somebody in place that can't handle on your team. You don't put somebody in place that can't handle an objective. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You either put them where they need to be that they can handle it. They get trained to move up, or you find somebody in that position to take take a hold of that position as you continue to grow in your business or and or in your life. Mm hmm But right. at the same time, yeah, but it, there's another part. I know you got another part. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you take that. No, but the other part is that you you, you know what wait, wait, say it again. Work at the level of your dreams and not at the level of your team. Yeah, but you Presumably, being a leader, you still have to forge forward. You still have to work towards the the level of your, you know. I always use objectives instead of dreams. That's just me personally. So but you always was, have to do that. It, it was broken down in the context of of being around who you who you or who you hang around mm -hmm. is 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 who you somewhat become, right? Yeah. And and mm -hmm. so you're hanging around small-minded naysayers, negative folks. You you're living at you're living at the level of your team, and it, and it can be personal and or it can be professional. So either way you cut. Obviously, right. yeah, yeah. That, that, so, so, that, so, that, so that so that so that was the context on how it was built, and so it really broke it out even further. If you're really trying to grow, again, you have to you have to push that to the side, let it fall away. And you have to increase. You have to increase your team structure to help. That's going to help <clears throat> forge your way to your dreams. Absolutely. So like they say you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, back to that AM what AMCC right? AMCC. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, those, those people affect your AMCC too, though, yeah. because. You know, if you were in a practice with somebody that, that just, and it's not a, a judgment on the person, but, you know, if you decide I'm going this way and they can't even see the path or they don't even be there, some of your interaction with them when it comes to that is useless.
because they can't even see the path that you're going on. So it doesn't even matter, you know, and it's not about person being a good person, a bad person. It's just saying that, look, you can't see what I see. So you have to also train yourself to get to the point where you like how you talk to people or what you, you know, when you talk to somebody, are you really talking to them to receive information from them? They might be giving information, but you may not really receive it. You listen, you know, it's always a nugget in, in whatever somebody says, but you got to use it with a grain of salt and say, eh, okay. Or are you there to enrich them, which also can um, help your AMCC? Because from my standpoint, as you learn things, the more you can teach them, that really solidifies your, your knowledge. Absolutely. And by trying to teach somebody something, it pushes you to to know something more like you you know it makes you be a little more thorough it makes you or it might be pushing you from the theme of doing something you don't want to do it may force you to express yourself or to share things that you know you're not used to sharing you don't want to share or you that's might the be details like you talk about that's the details of that statement that's the yeah. details because you know what i mean that's where you work in the deep because when you build a team you obviously you know Right, you're building the team, and you, you you have to you have to you got to push yourself to so you can oh, yeah. train those that come behind you. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, so that's the devil's in those details, right? Here. Yeah, but I thought of something interesting when you even made the first made the statement at first mm -hmm. when you said that you know you have to you know work towards the level of your dream, not your team. You know, I, I I put the cliff notes on there. I said. What's interesting about that is you have to do that even when it, it's a team of one, when it's just you. Yeah. When it's just you, because you you have that other voice just telling you, you can't this, uh, this ain't going to work, this ain't that, that, boom, yada, yada, yada. And so, or I know how to do this. This is where I'm stopping. This is like. X, Y, Z, uh, you know, I don't really know. You're going that statement to so many different things. It's not even funny. Right? Yeah. It's like yeah. wearing all those hats. You say, oh, shoot, I'm the salesperson in my organization. I don't know. Yeah, I'm this. I'm the janitor. Right. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I got to clean the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, you got to <laughs> do it all. And, you know, but, but then, you know, you got this mental thing where you don't, put president or CEO on your business card and then you like, man, I got to sweep up trash. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you got to be able to, to, to that, oh man, I got to sweep up trash is the, the voice you got to not listen to. That's just part of the deal. When you, because yeah, you to see you, you yeah, everything. You know what though? Think of, let's, let's sidebar that for me, right? Mm -hmm. If you got to sweep up trash, change some light bulbs, Clean the bathroom. That means you have a, a you have a real organization. You have a building of people that is moving your organization forward. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying it might just be you. I'm saying when it's just you, it's just you. It's easy for you to get caught up in the I'm this person and I'm that person at the same time. So you have to think, you know, it's easy to be like because doubt is a huge part of everything we do. I mean, doubt, self-doubt is... Yeah. Imposter syndrome. Everybody got that. Right. Yeah, everybody got self-doubt, man. And people tell me it's... it's it, no, everybody has self-doubt. They question stuff like that. So, if you're already questioning, then you get to this point where I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Or, even worse, I shouldn't have to do that because I'm this, but there ain't nobody else. Right. That's that's almost, that's really worse. Where you have to be like, yo, just sticking along what you're saying. You operated the level of, of your dream, you know. So you your dream is be CEO, which presumably means you're gonna have other people working for you. I'm not I'm not gonna get on that today, but I'm just saying. So this is just part of the process, the details, the stuff I don't want to do to move me towards really being a chief executive officer. Of a company I founded. It's gonna suck. Just because, you know what I'm saying? You say I'm this on you go to Staples and get your cards or your vista print or whatever, you say you do that. It means absolutely nothing. It means that's an aspiration that you have for your plan. 
But what you put in, the work that you put in is what, you know, puts something beyond that. It puts with something there. That, and, and that's, I see too much of this, and this is some big time coaching here. This is this is heavy league business coaching that is coming from people that actually are in business. Man, see, I keep getting petty. I don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> that thing is, now we were having to talk about life coaching. My father said he was going to become a life coach, and I was like, "Yeah, you you kind of, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> don't do I mean, him like that. <laughs> don't do him like that. I don't say, do well, him like I that. Say, I, I mean, the market." Even, don't even do though, like that. Don't do like that. Yeah, I did him like that. I was like, yeah, yeah. He only need like half a percent of client base. Yeah, he'd be a very small client base. I mean, That's compared fine. to what compared to what life coaching is the, the phenomenon right now. Life coaching next to business coaching. True. I mean, it's just it's something to do. But you know, anyway, I'm not, I'm getting sidetracked. Digress. My point is, is that we're given this is an example of coaching because these are the intangible things that you face. The doubt. The doubt. How do you deal with the doubt? How do you deal with the question? How do you feel like, you know, I felt like I've walked on a high wire most of my adult life. I don't know what's going to happen next week. I had no clue. You know, it's 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 the reality. People think you you start a company or whatever. You know what? You may not get paid for three months. You just may not get paid. And it's not like a job where you say, well, I'm done. I'm finished. I quit. Because even when you stop a business, it usually costs money to shut it down. So, you know, you go back. We talked about it before, burning the boats. You know, when you burn the boat, like, I'm not going back. I'm either going to make it or I'm going to perish. That's it. Now, everybody ain't on it like that. <laughs> 300, baby. <laughs> 300. But what it does but that, is... But that doubt, but that doubt, that speaking to your doubt question, you know, the doubt provides a contrast, right? Because without, you know, there's always two sides, man. You know, you, you ever had a piece of bread that only had one side? Can't say that I had. Uh, <laughs> and if I did, I definitely didn't need it. I was like, yo, man, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> you ever drink out of a cup with one side? <laughs> no. That would be interesting, though. I mean, what what does that even look like? I, don't, I have no idea. What's like you try to put water on, on a piece of paper or use it on that aforementioned okay. one-sided bread. But this paper is... Does paper have one side or two sides? See, there you go. <laughs> See, that's what the dude up at the spot. I, mean, I need to put you on that way in, man. When you break that thing down, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. I, didn't, I, I skated over that dog. Real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's what dudes hitting me with stuff like that. <laughs> Is water wet? <laughs> At first, you like, huh? And the answer as given to you, well, water can't be wet to itself. <laughs> so water isn't wet. So like, you people need to get out more. <laughs> That's a complete contrast to most of the social media information out here. That's something <laughs> you sit there. You be like, yo, you, yeah, you talk like that, man. Your friend, you talk about your team. You ain't gonna have many friends with that. You know, people, right. It's too much. It's too much to think about. Right. <laughs> See, <laughs> you got me choked up. Got me choked up. Um, I'm out here. <laughs> you got me choked up with these things. How many sides does the piece of paper have? <laughs> Oh, man, the, and the trick to those questions is to answer the non-obvious one. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's really, I think, the trick is to be like, well, no, it only has one side. Yeah, you be like, like, well, no. <laughs> yeah. You got another question to your water. Does, does water go backwards? Yo, man, that's too much, <laughs> man. I only got one cup of coffee, man. Water goes wherever it wants to go. <laughs> you forward, though. Forward. Yeah, that's true. Mm. So mm. 
you get lost if you get lost and in, in, in just follow the water because the water is going to lead you back to the ocean. Yo, man, see, they said, Where are you people? What are you, what are you, where you? who thinks about that? <coughs> that's survival 101, man. That's Boy Scout, Cub Scout, I, Boy Scout, Eagle Scout. I, I mean, it does make sense, but I'm just saying, who thinks about that, though? Like, <laughs> That's off the chain, man. But anyway, I don't even know what that is. We, we talked about business coaching that it turned into is water wet and all this other stuff. But, you know, that's the point of where, you know, coaches out here, I, I think a lot of them are coaching cheerleaders. So, they gas you up. So, yeah, you can do it. You know, you got the power. But coaching by nature is to help you see something that you may not see, to help you comprehend things you need to get done, to help you push through on the AMCC, <clears throat> to help you push through that to get there. Now, your business brain or your business acumen is a, is a constant, constant muscle that has to be developed. And, and, and I mean, it just does, it is, man. I, I You know... <sighs> I mean, in leveling up, I'm leveling up my petty as well. And, um, <laughs> it's, you know, a lot of play play out here, man. A lot of play play. A lot of, lot of great Canva designs. A lot of great makeup, glamour shots, things going on. A lot happening out here. There's this, uh, people getting mandated that they are this or that. Looks great. A lot of trips, people going over places and all that. I don't know how much revenue these people are generating. I have absolutely no idea. And I said, that's the difference. Well, I said, people, what we, the business win, it gets to that at some yeah, point. As the, the business win, we get to that number. So I don't care what you look like. Yeah. And I think as an accountant, for me, I don't get mesmerized by stuff. And you can make a hundred million, a million, a hundred thousand. The accounting is all the same. I could care less. It doesn't matter to me. So, this is a scorecard we're going on. But my, my what interests me and in any coaching or anything that I may offer now or in the future, it's about how to take the steps to go to the next level. If you had 100, how we get to 200? You had 200, how you get to 300? 300, let's go to 500. What do you have to do to get there? Those are the steps that have to go there. And they're not all clean steps. They're not all big initiatives. We're going to have this this initiative. Nope. You know, like I had a conversation with the homie. <clears throat> um, you know, on the wing side, I was like, yo, one thing that, that we talking about, staffing. And, you know, is a thing about a structural thing like in the management thing. And then I, I pointed out, I was like, well, first, got to get good hires. Because the issue is if you if you put a layer of management on top of you know inadequate staff, <clears throat> what you gonna get? You either gonna get a management that's gonna leave, or management that's gonna get to your point, the earlier point, or management that's gonna get corrupted by the inadequate staff. You know what I'm saying? So so just adding that person on top doesn't doesn't do, especially when you're small. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once again, and this conversation is amazingly staying on task, um, <laughs> which is really incredible. But, you know, what I was, what I was saying is like, look, yo, we, um, you know, it's like in that, in that, I, I, what you said was really, really important, you know. Like pay attention to see a dream, uh, not to level your team. Because you know, leadership goes into that too, which is another thing. You gotta coach leadership, man. Everybody doesn't lead the same way. Everybody and you don't have to. But there's certain things, you know, when I, I take that statement, it's a guiding light. Um <clears throat> when you run in a business, and then and let's say you get past that, you get a team. People like to stay motivated. 
people like to win. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. No one wants to go into something for it not to work. Right. You know what I mean? Like, no one does it. I, I, not that I know of. So, you get this team to keep them engaged. How savvy are you to keep them engaged in your in your dream? I'll use dream for the sake of statement. In your dream. How do you engage your team to the dream? You know what I'm you talking about? vision if you want to bring it down to a bit. Now, I like team of dream because I can rap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can talk like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about right there? So, like, yeah. Like, that, that, that's what, you know. So, that, you know, how do you I mean, because it, it, it's, it's how you do it. And I think people run into the mistake. It gets so encapsulated to themselves. Like, you have to share information with this team. So you have to, they have to keep coming up because it's impossible for you to reach that dream and your team stay in place. The same one. Now, we talked about in terms of people, you may change them out, but at some point, you got to have some continuity. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? Oh, so you you that's so it's right here, yeah I know I mean that's a, that's the bonus word for the day. Apply that to your products, your products. Yeah. Continuity. Yeah. So what I'm saying is like, look, sharing information with your team. That's what we talked about KPIs, and we'll talk about them more this year. But um, <clears throat> a KPI is a measure. What it says, a key performance indicator. It's a measure that you can use to align your dream with your team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can use a KPI. So no, you don't have to just go hand out your bank statements to your whole to your employee or something like that. And they know every dollar you got or don't have, and, you know, because you worried about paying them on Thursday night because payday Friday. Hey, you know, these things happen. Hey, whatever. But to give them something to reach for. So if you know that we got to close this number of clients per month, you know, for you to reach reach a point, you share that with them. You put it out there. You get, because people like playing games. It's, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And it gives meaning to what people are doing. Because now you don't create a meaning. You say, yo, we about blah, 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 blah. Like you've seen it in different places. Certain um, fast food Things they got a turnaround time for order from order to delivery, and you'll see if you on the inside, you look at the drop through, it's usually a clock over the drop through, mm -hmm. or they're clocking to see how fast is the stuff's going. That's a KPI, they're measuring the KPI mm -hmm. to see operationally, like, yeah. So, said fast food restaurant takes that information, it builds all the way back to something that's linked to revenue for sure, like that. They not can't even though their books are public, but still, you know, their employees ain't going out looking at the annual report of McDonald's. But true, you know, not, true, but true, still, true. but you do this stuff. You you do that, so now you have a you have a bigger sense of purpose um, for the people that drink the Kool Aid. <clears throat> but that's a coaching point. That's a coaching point. You if, as long as you have a business, in my opinion. A small business where you have a business where you detach how the comp the, the the compensation of the employee to the um the performance of the firm, you got a problem. And because <clears throat> let's be real, the firm does well, everybody gonna think they need they should get a raise. You know, everybody gonna think they should get more money. But and the firm ain't doing as well. Everybody gonna think they should get a raise. They should get more money. <laughs> just, just how it go. It don't matter. So now I'm saying what I'm saying is you put something in there and say, yo, I want y'all to understand the two fairy don't bring this money here on this every other Friday. It, it ain't magically because you know most places where you got a job. Tell me how many employees really think about where their money comes from. When they get paid, everybody ain't nobody like, think about that. When you got a job, man, I better get yo. I'm gonna get my check on Friday, you know. And it's it's like places where you got to question that mm -hmm. you ain't going to work there. So you don't have that. So, but so when they come work for you and you small, well, guess what? 
you the one who paying them. So it has to be without, you know, and that's the deal. That's the contract you mean. But there's other ways to try to t- to make them understand that there's a direct relationship between what you do and me paying you mm-hmm. without it being all, you know, crazy. Mm-hmm. Because I think often we coddle, we coddle employees, and then that makes a team weaker. Like, listen, conversely, if those KPIs start slipping, you know, you might have more people starting to go take days off to, uh, they need to handle some business because they need to find a new job because they're going no. It's like, man, we ain't been making the numbers. Sure haven't. But guess what? Guess who ain't going to start off? <laughs> so that's what, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. this is your free coaching session right here. I'm going to add on to the KPIs since you just added, since you said something about the KPIs. Right? Stay tuned for this, though. Stay tuned for a full face therapy training. Oh, well, yeah. So this is KFI, key frustration indicators. Oh, yeah. Well, looking at the root causes of problems systematically. Where is it broken in the system? So, yeah, you got higher level. You got to do that afternoon. It's too early. (laughs) <laughs> your stuff is deep. My stuff's simple. Man, you, you, your stuff all deep, man. I, I'm, I'm just saying. Look, man, it's business. It, you gotta level up, people. You gotta, you gotta think like a business owner. True. You have to think like a owner. You have to think like this. If you gonna take, if you gonna, and that's part of the paying attention. You know, vision towards your dream. I'll, I'll use dream because people like using that dream. Got to align the dream with your team. You got to do that. You can't sit around here, you know. And I mean, we, you know, he'll get to the frustration. But a lot of this, what I'm saying is, it reduces the frustration indicator. It doesn't eliminate frustration. Nah, yeah, it but it reduces it because you you getting things systematic. And I mean, things, you know, I, I don't know anybody that has ever started or ran a business where everything went perfect from day one to them either selling or closing it. Except for in, in a movie or something. And, and even in a movie, you gotta have some plot where you know, it's never like I can't make it's the payroll. Some conspiracy yeah, the, stuff. yeah, the story ain't never like I can't make the payroll because the IRS garnished my account. It, yeah. it ain't like that. That's too real. But, yeah, you know, yeah. it, it's usually something the deal fell through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how we gonna it's do not this? not working. What do you mean it's not working? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Such and such what... ain't getting it yet. Well, where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it ain't never that, yo. That 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 uh twenty thousand check that cat, you know, gave you, bounced or the wire hasn't magically hasn't made it to the bank yet. Right. I don't know, and, and he ain't picking up the phone. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm I got payroll, and they about to draw the payroll out the account. You know, in a couple hours. So, straight Newport moment. You know. Or maybe I've been around the, the wrong business my whole life. That's not how it works. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's what it is. These things don't happen. It's just that, you know, man, yeah. Yo, man, internet connect, yo. Mm, they like blinked us out. Off to. Yeah, they, they, they blinked us out. It was like Thanos. <laughs> he did the snap. What the heck happened? Yo, so, but yeah, man, it's, 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 you know, I just, I just do my little coaching and I'm gonna do a little more coaching this year because I, I got like, um, you know, knuckle. You see, you got more, yours is more refined, and, you know, you, you, you know, you more like, you more gentle with yours, you know, you like, you think so? Well, yeah, it's gently, it's a gentle mind probe, but it's gentle nevertheless, you know, mine is like, yo, man, what's up with you, man? Because you know, I'm always trying to. Um, I want to try to teach people how to uh, get to the next level, man. Because um, why are you empathetic? Yeah, you know, because this thing ain't no joke. <coughs> it's hot coals, brother. No, without a doubt. I mean, yeah, but you, you know, you know I mean? I, but it, it contrasts very well. I mean, you know, you real empathetic. You know, you understand it. I'm old, grizzled. I'm grizzled, you know. I understand, but but one one of the challenges for me is that because there's so much information out here, it's like 
people could pick up a baton further down the the deal, you know, like because there's so much info out here, like a lot of information. And it I think what I have to deal with is that sometimes it's frustrating because I'm like, yo, really? This is what you well, like, they, cause they challenge it. They challenge the effort that you put into what you do, right? And that that's like, what do you mean? As much time I put in for for, for this for what I do, education wise, time, money, sweat equity, oh, the whole oh, nine. Right. And you want Google something, or somebody told you something, you want to come here and ask me some crazy questions, right? And I get that stuff too. Oh well, I wasn't you even talking about I mean? that part. Oh okay. I, I, yeah, that, that's a fact too. But I was just talking about like even for yourself, you know, for themselves. Mm-hmm. Like where they are in the process. Mm-hmm. And it's like you have this elaborate thing about how your business oh oh my cousin up on in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, my cousins? Shine out. We getting we getting we getting some uh you, got, uh, you see you got that G Hayward in the building. No doubt in the building. Right now. So like it's what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of information out here. It is that that people can kind of you know how they like you know with soil, you know, they can they can fertilize the soil before they jump into something. That's what I'm trying to say. And then you come in, you're like, yo, you asking these questions, and then then we get to what you're talking about. They come in if they get to me, and you know, they have these things, and I'm sitting here like, yo, with have you thought about what you're doing? Like, have you thought about it? That's all, but you know what. You digress. I digress, and we here for the people. I'm, I'm we here for the people. That's what it's always all about. Yeah, it's always about the people. I'm just a little harsher than you. You you like the do a mango bottle or whatever you said earlier. AMCC <laughs> and, and all that good stuff, man. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I, just, like, I'm, I play differently, though. That's all, man. Oh, no, no, you playing a different. Oh, yeah, yeah. You in the sandbox by yourself. You know, everybody like, yo, nah, that dude not, right there. I bring people in the sandbox with me. Yeah, but then they, they got to figure out what, <laughs> how to get, which sandbox you in. They, that's like, you know, like, yo, this dude right here is different. But, no. Nah, because I, I walk think, through the coals, man. I don't want, you know, there's some, yeah. there's some situations people, you can't, they got to go through the coals, right? You know what I mean? Absolutely. They got to go through it, but. I, I guess I try to lay it out like, okay, you're gonna walk through the coals, but these are the things you need to look for. <laughs> and if you don't, if you can't really figure it out, just kind of eh, eh, turn your head this way, turn your head that way. Be aware in this, you know, add two percent here, add ten percent there. You yeah, know, just because you got you got to walk through it yourself, right? So a lot of times, yeah. there's a lot of people out here that have even, you know mentors you know um individuals people i know people i don't know there's there's some people out here that go through uh challenges and changes really kind of by themselves in a sense you, they, absolutely you, know, you learn some harsh things by yourself because there was nobody there to tell you about that you know so when you so early you said you got it you, you you can't hold on to information. It's it's the greatest sin of all. You got to share information, right? So, you know, I just try to make sure I share whatever information because whoever walked through the hot coals and shared information with me, and then I walked through my coals and I'm like, oh, okay. Let me let me keep passing this passing this down. I'm not no doubt. To it. I feel the same way. It's just that I come off a little differently. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I mean, well, in fact, I mean that's my level up. So you know, as we we, we come to the close, we didn't talk about leveling up for twenty four. I mean, because this is technically our first show of the year. I mean, and I, I got to make a comment on that too. But leveling up is when I really feel as though, you know, and I, I meditated, prayed, thought about it. I mean, I do need to share more. Um, be in writing videos these things that I've experienced because there's not enough of this information in the community, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the way that we put it. And it's not necessarily popular, you know, it's not, you know, we're not, it's not necessarily, it's not common. It's not, and it's not easy. Yeah. It's not always not attached to dopamine at all. 
And 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 but then also it's also not it is just not it's not the AMCC effect. It is. It's not easy. Not the, the stuff that we talk about isn't easy. It's not exciting. It's like I'd say like when you have a house and you might add a room, you tell your friends about that. Or you know, you paint, you know, you change the flooring. But if you have to get studs put underneath the foundation and jacked up, that's nothing there. That's not exciting. No, I wasn't talking about that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, <clears throat> your crawl space has to get cleaned out and vented. You know, like the attic. You got to put insulation in the attic. It's not, it's, who cares about that? <laughs> no one cares about that. You got to get a, a pipe uh, a line snaked because it's all backed up. That's not a home improvement anybody wants to talk about. But guess what? You better do it. You bet you best to do it, or all that pretty stuff you put in there ain't nothing happening. And so that's what we we talk about the 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 the, the stuff that's you know like that. I really had to come to that realization. I said, man, look, even in our counting practice, what we do here with media, it's not glamorous. I mean, we make it pretty glamorous as much as we can, but <laughs> Is not, but these are how I, you know, and from studying and reading these books and going through those headway uh deals, like, this part is what's missing. This is this is how you get to success. This stuff that you it ain't clean, man. And this, I'm not, not saying it's dirty, but it's not clean. You, it's you not have to put it this way, it's not a straight line, not straight line. You have to learn. And I think what was our point is that we're learners. You know, we're not sitting here like we at the end of the rainbow and say, ha, 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 ha. yeah, it, we're learning and we're bringing it as we're learning. It. So whatever challenge that I might throw out to somebody, I'm challenging myself. Trust me. I mean, no way. You know, I'm not at a, at a limit of where I want to be. It's all challenging. So, you know, I, I just had to say, so the level up for this year is more sharing information. And, you know, like you said, you know, I, I go all deep, you know. We got Rev on here, but I I, I don't want to misquote all this. But what I'm saying is, I mean, you know, it's a big sin. God made you who you are, gave you the talents you are. And if you don't share the information with other people, then what are you doing? You going to take it with you? That's what you're going to do? Ow. <laughs> yeah. You want to so to make the world better and do it. Our movement right is business. <laughs> that's our movement. Oh, oh word, yeah. Red said, yes, sir. I like it. All right, good. <laughs> nah, that's what I said. I, I said it right. Yeah, but but it, you know, this is what this is this is what we're doing. So I know I gotta do more. But people, look, man, stuff nothing is out easy. If stuff was easy, everybody everyone would, would do it. Everyone would do it. And you know, so that, that's what we say. So when we come here, as I said, I, I, I've come to it. That's so. This is all in the twenty-four level up. Uh, what we talking about? We leveling up. But I do want to say one thing. What's one that? thing before I let you go, because you know, we, we started late, but still, you know, it's whatever. It's all good. That our one of our largest streams to date. <laughs> Was last episode with you and the esteemed Nicole Cooper. It blew up. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't checked. I haven't checked. That was a good episode. It was nice. a good episode. Nice. You know what I mean? It was a good episode. Nice. That's it. So that is so exciting for me because. You know, along with this, uh, what I was just saying, more ver voices. There has to be more voices in this in this realm of small business, accounting, finance. You know, black-owned business, whatever. We need more voices, and we need more voices for people that's on the ground, um, that are doing things and see things different ways. I've never done this, so it's just oh, listen to me. Listen to me. So that was the case. You know, the, like I was too in. I was like, "Yo, I need you to get on here with me," because I was like, "I'm not gonna sit here and just talk." I mean, I could do it in short joints, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but no, I was very, very happy 
Very happy with you, Nicole. Man. So happy. Y'all need to do it again. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to do it again. I told her, she was like, really? I said, yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, come on in and but, hang out with us. Yeah, but plus she brings, you know, and then it's nice. She brings another another set of, of, of eyes or ears, you know, to come listen to us, our foolishness. But that's that, that's the that's the thing. They might just come back, you know. So I wanted to just actually prop that up and be like, "Yo, that was because that was the first live show of the year." The two of y'all. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. It's pretty. It's pretty impressive. So, so you know, it makes me. Yeah, it makes know, me the happiest. We try. We just leveling up the team. I know. Yeah, we have a I great mean, team, man. We have a great team. Great team. Yeah, it gets better every day. We have a great team. It's, Gets better every day. They, I mean, there's stuff that's going on while I'm in on wherever I am. Uh, <laughs> things are happening. So that's it. I don't took all the air out the room. That's it. And it's almost time for me to take some more cold medicine. But yeah, it's like that. I mean, we we almost close to the hot tardy stage. Let's go ahead, go ahead and get this done right here. And just go ahead and knock it out. But you know. We're good, man. We're good. All right, remember, people, this, the, 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 the key word is, uh, key word, is anterior, mid-singulate vortex. Mid well, you say AMCC, so it should be AMSC, right? Oh, excuse me, AMCC. Wait, singular? It's the anterior. Anterior. Mid-singulate cortex. Oh, so mid singular is that have an S or a C? Mid is it's a C. Mid singulate. Oh, fancy! <laughs> you see, you know, I thought I was like mid singular. Mid singulate cortex. And for lame in layman's terms, that is the portion of the brain where you explain it better than me. It's a portion of the brain that increases your willpower. It's a muscle in the brain that mm. increases your willpower, the mm. power to live, and then you doing the things that you do not like to do. Mm. All right. So All right. We, let's flip it around. Um, uh, delayed gratification. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so you start playing with certain terms that, that we're familiar with and we go, oh, wait. That applies to this, that place, and now, now we understand it from a surface level to an under, uh, undertone, a foundation, right? S substance. So sub meaning under, stance meaning you standing on top, oh, right? Boy. Standing on business, leveling up. Oh, go. oh. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go. Don't, don't get me started. Standing on business. Standing on business. Man. I can do a whole show on standing on business. Oh, like, what is this standing on business, bro? <laughs> I think I'm going to one of them common statements that's out there. You know what I mean? I, there's, oh, some, there's some stuff out there that's like real funny, contradicting that statement, and people use it too. Yo, you you almost you almost <laughs> set me off, man. <laughs> I've been having I've been talking about standing on business for like four weeks. Standing on business. You might be sitting on broke, but that's all right. Stand up. <laughs> I have no more words. I'm done. I'm finished. I am completely done with I'm done. That that one I back, slowly back away. <laughs> yeah, I gotta back away from the microphone because I can't. Yeah, all right, then. So look. <laughs> This has been another exhilarating episode of the Halo CBA live stream. <laughs> We'd like to thank everybody that checked in with us, all the shout outs. Uh, you know, every other Saturday we record, we're here, come in, shoot you, shoot any questions you have, any comments um, you have, you could always email us. Uh, or, you know, put, put a, a comment on the YouTube channel. Yeah, <clears throat> we have a question, you know, yeah, we have. You can reach us. Facebook page, LinkedIn page. I think we're on LinkedIn. Yeah, we're on LinkedIn today um, on my profile. So put some questions there, comments, any discussion topics. As you see, 
we dwell into the human aspect of, of doing business along with the finances. So it's a little bit more than, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend. It's not just I sit up here and explain uh, the the balance sheet. I'm like, okay, on this side of the balance sheet, you know, we try to make it make sense. No, business, business no man, don't you do not want to <laughs> stand on business, go to business therapy. As a matter of fact, <laughs> if your business is standing on you, that's when you go to business therapy. Sure. That's what, that's what that's what the business therapy. Is. Business therapy you standing on business, I'm presuming you're good. <laughs> Everybody needs some help somewhere. No, no, it's standing on it. Yo, man, I can't. I'm not going down this. See, you, 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 see, you, see, you John, baiting me. I'm you right now. So. Yeah, you are, you are baiting me. I can't do it, man. Right, we're going to start the next show. We're going to talk about this now. Now I got to talk. Because I need to know exactly what that means. Someone has to let me know what that means. I ain't figured it out. And that's something that's happening now. Like, what was happening before? It's a new trend. But what's going to happen next year? If you're standing on it now, what you going to do? Jump on it next year? All right, man. That's it, man. Yo, it's been real. Hey, we see period.com. Biz therapy dot info, right? Dot info, yeah. Yeah, all that. We're out. Have a wonderful two weeks. We'll see you soon. Peace.